So, the Okamura Contessa chair here. What do I think about it? What kind of chair is it? Well, I'll just kind of say it's a very good chair. It's a very good chair. I like it a lot. Um, I got it used here in the UK. Um, since COVID, lots of people have been interested in office chairs, selling them. That's how I kind of got into collecting chairs, reviewing chairs as well. And I would say generally, this is just a very premium chair. It feels quality. It feels sturdy. It's very, it's a heavy chair, to be honest, but overall very nice. So I've tried out a number of office chairs, um, brands you may be familiar with, Herman Miller, Steelcase, um, Hayworth as well. And this, I think, is a, is a really, you know, solid contender with all of those. You can often pick this up quite cheap as well. It's a less well-known chair, despite kind of how it looks. It's very, it's got a very kind of stylish look to it. Um, but overall, just a just a really, really nice, really nice well-built chair. So I got, I got this for £60 used. Um, and, you know, the, the mesh is still good quality. It's a mesh chair. It's sort of uh, foam padding at the front, similar to what you'd see in an Aeron. Uh, the back is, is mesh as well, and it has a, a lumbar support at the back here that you can raise up and down, which is quite interesting. So it, it's got a lot of design features similar to the Aeron in the way that it works due to the mesh, the, the armrests um, at the back. Um, I would say if you are, I, I'm 5'11", um, and for me the Aeron size C is probably the best fit. I find myself most comfortable in that size. This by comparison feels a tad bit smaller it, it still supports me, but the, the way the seat kind of fits, it, it's not exactly the same. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So on the air, on, when, when you sit on the mesh, you sort of feel like you're just floating on the, uh, on the mesh if you, if you have the right size. This chair, it feels like it cups you a bit more on these kind of plastic sides that you have here. So if I sit into this, you can see I'm, I'm still sitting in the mesh, but I'm sort of just, you know, I, I, I feel more more pressure on the outside here. It's still the mesh that's making all the contact, but you know it's kind of a harder a harder mesh. Um, it's still very comfortable to sit in. I do prefer the air on myself, but I'll get into the adjustments of this chair. So first of all, what I really like about this chair is I think the armrests. The armrests are pretty spectacular. Um, if you've used, if you know about the chairs like the Aaron, you know they're very clunky. You have these kind of levers here and you have to pull these levers up and then pull the armrest in and out. They're, they're not particularly adjustable. These ones are, which I really like. Um, probably the best, the chair with the best armrest I've seen is probably the Steelcase Leap uh, V2. Lots of adjustability there. This is a, a similar good level of adjustability. So the armrest that can go in and out here. Um, to, to make them go down, you actually have to push them up and then they drop all the way down, and then you can kind of increment them up to whatever height you are, and then if you start again, you have to just push them up all the way down, and then, you know, to whatever height is comfortable for you. So it's a very easy to, to use feature. There's no kind of latches to pull on or anything. Very nice feature of the chair. As well as that, I mean, you have well, a lot of adjustments just built into the armrest. There's a really good design they have here. So they have a sort of wire, and when you pull this, so you can adjust the height, of the chair without even having to worry, you know, about any levers down here, about having to worry about anything. You can just use the lever on the armrest right here to do that for you. Really good design. And on the other side, this this is fantastic. You're gonna like this. So at the moment, I, I can recline the chair. Um, it's not locked or anything. There's a there's a tension adjustment on the side, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But you can adjust the chair, recline it. It's fine. And then if, so, if I recline and pull this lever on here. You can see that it's actually it's actually locked the recline in that position. I can't lock back until I click it again, lean back, and then it starts the recline. So you can actually you can lock this chair in any recline position you want. Just like that, that position you find yourself at, you just lock it. It's it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, no other chair I've seen it has anything like this. So I can lock it just here, just in any position. If whatever I'm comfortable with, I'm, I'm watching a movie, I want to go all the way back. Lock it there, and then there. I, the chair's locked in that position. I don't have to do anything. So I, I don't know of another chair that has a similar kind of recline to this. Very, very high tech, very nice. Um, 
if you kind of, I, I normally sit quite upright when I'm doing work in my, in my chair, but the feature to lock it anywhere is really quite nice. Um, so that's a recline. You have the tension adjustment down here. So if I lean back and kind of, I want to adjust the tension, I think the, the knob is kind of stuck on something. I can't remember exactly how to, how you make it unstuck. Do you have to lock the chair? And then you, no, that's not it. Lean, lean all the way back or something. Hmm, having a bit of trouble here. I don't, I don't remember at the moment. You can do it sometimes, but sometimes it just feels like you can't adjust it. Maybe there's something I'm not entirely aware of in how you adjust it, but I'll show you as well the seat depth. This is something that the Aeron, Aeron chair that has a similar mesh design, doesn't have. You would think it would have a kind of seat depth adjustment, but you know, they haven't updated the chair in 20 years or something. So I think with this, you just pull these levers on the side and then you can slide the chair to whatever you want. So if you're a smaller person, you want the chair kind of here because it won't, the chair won't interact with your knees as much. You won't get that support. Whereas, you know, if you're a taller person, you want to kind of slide that all the way out. And then the chair, much more comfortable, sort of up beside the knees, the whole base of the chair supporting where you sit as well. Very nice, very nice, very professional. So, oh, there we go. That's the tension. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but yeah, you can turn it all the way down and then ooh, very easy to recline or you know, up to whatever amount of recline you want personally out of the, the chair. So yeah, just a really, it's a really solidly built chair. And of course you can adjust the lumbar support to whatever level you want. When you're sitting in the chair, it's a nice kind of padded cushion kind of thing that they've got back there. Also, it's strange, they have these, these kind of latches here. If you pull those, you can sort of adjust the, the tilt angle of the back of the chair. You can see, maybe you can see there how it slightly changes the angle at which the back is, is placed. And that, that, that sort of increases the tension on the back. Um, or sort of the more the lumbar support, because the lumbar support feels like it's at a different angle and it supports you a bit differently. I like that, but really, really nice. So overall, I'm a big fan of this chair. If you can pick it up, um, cheaply this is probably one of the most adjustable office chairs you will find um i would recommend this to, to everyone if they can find it used i'm not sure exactly how much it is new it's probably going to be quite a lot because this is it's a quality design okamura is a japanese brand this okamura contessa here um but yeah just a really really well made chair um what would i rate it out of 10 probably Probably something like a, a, a 9, an 8.5, a 9 out of 10. Very good. It's on on par with, you know, an Aeron, a Leap V2. Just really, really nice. I think the amount of adjustments and just the ease of it makes it makes it really nice. And you won't get another chair with a mesh designs like the Aeron for so cheap. And, you know, for so for so much more adjustments than it has as well. For me personally, the I, as I said before, I think the Aeron size C fits me a little better. Um, I do feel more comfortable in that. The mesh is sort of a better design. It has a harder lumbar support, and I feel that kind of puts the pressure in my spine on the right kind of way, where my spine sort of naturally curves, and so I, I do prefer that. Um, but if it if it had the the thing about that, it's it doesn't have anywhere near the adjustments that this has, and the ease of use just to be able to. You know, go up, lock the, the, the seat in any position you want. It's really quite fantastic. So overall, I would recommend this chair for anyone. Anyone wants to ask any questions in the comments, I'm always happy to, you know, reply, talking about kind of chair stuff, or what chairs are good, um, recommended. So yeah, overall, really nice chair, and uh, yeah, hope you like it.